that's a shark brain. It's that's so small. It that looks like cheese. <laughs> cheese. cheese. Perla said it looks like cheese. I think it looks like scrambled eggs. Yeah. 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 Scrambled eggs for breakfast. Yes. Who wants to eat shark brains for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't. I eat shark, but not shark brains. So the brain, the brain has three different parts that we that I teach them about. Okay. We learn about the frontal lobe, which is the cerebrum, the middle lobe, which is the cerebellum, and then this back stem, which is called the medulla oblongata. If you've seen Water Boy, you, that might, you might uh, yeah, recognize that term, the medulla oblongata. But uh, okay. if you remove even more of the cartilage, you can see all the things that are branching off the brain, like over into the eye, which are right here. Okay? And then you can also see branches up here to the nose. So that's what, yeah. So you can see all the, all of the, the control. Let's walk around, let's see some more. This is Tyler. Tyler has something to show you. What's up, Tyler? Tyler, you want to talk about the shark? All right, I see. Let's show you what we've done inside. Open it up. All right. So, this is what the inside of a shark looks like. Now, this is like some extra stuff. Oh, my Okay, so here we have all the systems, the inside system of the shark. We have the stomach right here. And we even opened up the stomach to see what it ate. And we didn't see anything in here. I don't know, did anybody have anything in their stomach? Is there any fish in there? Is that the gut? That's his stomach. Who What's that? And let's see. We've got the biggest organ of the shark is this. It's the liver. Okay? Yeah, that's, that's nice, isn't it? The reason it's so big is because the shark always swims. And when he's swimming, he's drinking lots of water. And so the water has to be filtered, so they need a huge liver to filter all that water. Go train. Okay. All right. What do you have? Do y'all have any questions? Who has questions? Hey, Desmond. What's the heart look like? The heart. The heart. I'll, let's find one that has. I know someone has the heart open. Oh, 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 Small, and I can, uh, I guess just be, I mean, just the size of the shark is not, I mean, it's not like a it's very large shark, so, I mean, that's the only really reason I would think. Uh, I can tell you about its location, why it's located where it is. So if you look, if you look, it's right here in between the gills. Okay, and the reason it's between the gills is because the gills take in the water to give the shark oxygen. Well, the way that the body gets oxygen is through the blood. So the oxygen gets uh, added to the blood supply right there, which gets pumped through the heart, which gets pumped through the rest of the body. What else? What are the what other organs do y'all want to what see? What else do you want to see? Or you want to ask? The lungs? Do they have lungs? They don't have lungs. 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 They don't have lungs
have Listen. lungs. A shark is a fish, so it doesn't have any lungs. Aww. So if it doesn't have any lungs, what question do you think you might want to ask? Why does it have lungs? Why doesn't it have lungs? Or maybe how does it breathe? You guys know that? It's you know lungs. Gills. It's gills. Okay, and then you saw the gills already, didn't you? Can you see the small intestine? Why are the Say it again. Small the intestine. The small intestine. The intestine? Yes. All right. Wait, there might be oh, intestines. All right, so we saw the stomach. Now, sharks only have really one intestine, okay? They don't have a small and a large like we do. They have just pretty much a straight tube. So here's the stomach, and then it leads down into the intestine, which is right here. Wait, does it have like a bathroom? Uh, there wasn't much in here, really. There might be some stuff, but a little bit, a little bit of stuff. Like it's open right here. There really wasn't much in there. We did have one person had a, their stomach. When we open the stomach, we always see what's in there. We had one person that had a small, a little squid in their in their stomach. Uh, oh. <laughs> so does it? Do sharks digest their food? Do they ever swallow things whole? How could you tell it was a squid? Um, yeah, because they don't chew. So here, well, keep going. I'm gonna go to somebody else. Let's see. Here, flip y'all's over. Right, fold open the mouth. Oh, I have a question. Okay, so you look at these teeth. Okay, those are. If you look at those teeth, you don't see big, you know, sharp teeth like what you think of when you think of Jaws and other shark movies, things like that. Okay, they have smaller teeth that are used for crushing. So. What they do is they just kind of get something in their mouth and swallow it. So we found wow. in some sharks, we found uh, we found some chunks of, of fish food that are about, you know, I mean, in relation, that were about that big. Wow. Okay. Nice. And actually, I can uh, send a picture. Let me see if I can send a picture. You can ask any questions just about sharks in general, oh, or about fish, or animals that live in the water. They're still in there, but you can ask her for sure. And that's a good question you can ask, okay? What? I think that was in another class. Actually, then you can ask that. Yeah. Camera storm? Yeah. What's going on? No. Okay, there we go. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to pull up a picture that I've sent. That I tweeted it out. Oh, well, we can look at we can look on Twitter later if you've tweeted it out. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah, what is I it put, a picture? There's, a, there's pictures. I put a couple pictures of what it ate, and then there's also a video pulling out some uh, pulling, re removing some. Uh, yeah, we can. Food from it. We can watch that. I'll pull it up on the iPod and pass it around. I think there oh, were. Oh, there's also a picture because we had two sharks. We had a couple sharks that had babies. <laughs> oh, that was one of the questions. Yeah. Here's some squid. Oh, oh my God, it's so small. That's the squid that it ate. That's awesome. Yes, it is. <laughs> but yeah, you can see that it's pretty much all, it's, it's whole. So they kind of swallow it whole, crush it. Okay, go ahead, Carla. How, how do you know if it's a girl or a boy? Okay, we can do that. In fact, I will, this is a good question for the kids, because oh. they should know. So, here we go, Tanner. Explain to them how you know whether a shark is a girl or a boy shark. 
We couldn't really hear him. You guys just speak up. So if it's a voice right, then it has clappers. And then if it's a ghost right, then it has information. And then... Tell them what is it. Oh. So these are the claspers. So it makes it a voice shark. So... All right, so see what he's saying? On the pelvic fin down here, they have these two spiky things, which are called claspers. And that makes it a boy shark. Okay? So on a girl shark, there's a girl shark. No, you don't. Look. Nope. Did y'all have a girl shark? Look it over. I'll come over there. All right, so on a girl shark, those claspers are not present. Okay? So that's how we know whether it's a boy or a girl. That's a question. How many, boats, how many bones do um, the dog shark have um, originally? None. They have no, they have no bones because the sharks belong to a group of fish where their skeleton is made entirely of cartilage. So they don't have any uh, any bone at all. Um, why do tiger sharks get ti the name tiger sharks? Why do tiger sharks what? Get the name tiger sharks. I mean, why uh, it's mostly because of their skin pattern. They, they kind of have a striped pattern on their skin that looks like a tiger. Okay, if they don't have bones, how do they swim? He said if, if they don't have bones, how do they swim? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's going to well, explain they, how they swim. Well, it, it's, it's really the, their muscle, the way that their muscle is. Uh, let's put this one over. So you see here their, their muscle. This muscle extends the entire body length of the shark. Okay, and it's very, it's, it's very strong, and it just, you know, flexes back and forth. So between that and their fins, you know, the way that they use their fins and move their body, they're able to swim. Um, now, one thing that they can't do, like if you, for example, if you look at like a regular fish, and you see like, you know, one fin kind of moves independently of the other, they don't do that. Their fins both pretty much stay in the same place the whole time. Could you show us the eyes and tell us how the eyes help the shark? The eyes and what? And then how the eyes help the shark in the ocean? Um, well, eyes are one of their sensory organs. Um, they, have, they have a few different receptors. They have, uh, it's part of their mechanical sensor. Okay? So if we look at the eye, okay, and, and it is directly connected to their brain. Okay, and it's also right next to their nose. So, I mean, it, it, all their senses work together to help them detect um, a, you know, a food for them to eat. Now, um, sharks, their eye, a lot of sharks have a special membrane so that when they open their mouth to go in to eat something, that membrane goes over the eye, covers the eye to protect it. Is there anything else but you guys there, want to uh, see? Yeah, as far as like, as far as like how they can see in the water and everything, mm. it just depends on where they're swimming as well, how far light penetrates. If they're somewhere where light's not penetrating very, very deep, then they use other receptors, okay? So they have this lateral line that moves down their body that you can see here, okay? And that detects electrical impulses and helps them detect movement in the water. 
What's your question? Um, how do how do sh um the dog? Do you know how the dogfish are um get their prey? Get their what? Um, their prey. Get their friends. Their prey. Uh, oh, their prey. <laughs> um, they eat a lot of like small fish, and like in the wild, they eat small fish, and they also eat um, you know, things like crabs and small squid and stuff. So that they're not, they don't go after like the big fish or seals or or penguins and stuff. They're they're eating, you know. Yeah, smaller fish. So especially like these, you know, these fish, these dogfish, they don't eat very big things. Um, in fact, we were just watching a, we were just watching a, a thing on killer whales the other day, and they showed a bunch of dogfish that are uh, going after some. I can't remember the fish, but it was a, yeah, it was a very tiny fish, um, not very, not very big. And they go after, and they just they, they quit, swim through the schools and uh, grab whatever fish they can grab. If sharks stop swimming, will they die? Oh, here's a really good brain. On the, he he's cut it out really well, so as you can see all the all the nerves and stuff like that, and all the sensors coming off, going to the different areas. Somebody asked if if sharks stop swimming, will they die? Yes, some will. Not all. That's that's one of those facts that's partly true, because uh, sharks like a like the great white shark, it will. Um, same thing for like tiger sharks and bull sharks, but there are sharks that can stop swimming, and um, they will rest on the bottom. So like the there's a shark called the nurse shark, and the nurse shark will rest on the bottom of the of the ocean, and because it doesn't it doesn't swim very in very deep water. It swims around coral reefs. And stuff. So for those sharks that can't stop swimming, do they swim while they're sleeping? Yeah. Do they sleep? Yes. Um. Not too much, really. A lot of times, what shark what what fish in the in the ocean do in order to sleep. Um, is not so. It's not so much sleeping as much as it is uh, shutting down part of their part of their part of their brain and part of their uh, you know you know just part of that part of their system. Okay. Um, so like for example, killer whales have the ability because they don't sleep technically, but they do shut down one half of the, their brain in order to rest. How did the um, the dogfish shark get its name? Um, you know what? I I really don't know. <laughs> um, it's one of those. I know what. I mean, I know why it's called the spiny dogfish. Uh, it's called the spiny dogfish because of these little spines that are here in front of the dorsal fin. <laughs> Looks like kind of looks like a fingernail, um, but as far as like why it's called the dogfish, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look it up um, and I'll, have to and I'll send y'all. I'll send y'all the answer. Yeah, they're talking sharks. Is there anything else you guys want to see or ask, Jimmy? Can we see the veins? He said, "Do they sharks have veins?" Do they have veins? Yes. In fact. Uh, if we, uh, if you look at the base of the tail, that's one of the reasons they have the tail cut, so that you can see some of the blood supply that runs through their spine. So you see those, uh, where am I? If you see those holes, that's the, those holes that contain uh, blood supply and also nerves. If we open it up, open it up. And we look to the to the back of the shark. Okay, a lot of the veins run down just the back of the spine. 
okay? So a lot of the stuff comes right down here, okay? And that's, you know, when, we, when you look at where the heart is and anything coming off the heart. Oh. There we go. Then, you know, you see, like, there's the aorta at the top of the heart, and then underneath it would be the vena cava, which is the main vein, essentially. All right. Well, thank you for showing us the sharks. Thank oh, yeah. you. Well, I'm glad y'all were able to enjoy it and see it. Did you like it a lot? I really thought the black thing in that shark was For what, what thing? When he opened it, I Oh, the heart? He thought the heart was a fish? Yeah. He said the heart, they thought it was a little fish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, say bye, and thank you so much. Bye. All right. Well, thank you all. All right. Say bye, class. Ha, ha, ha.